I'm back. Still have a cold, but let's try this out. Still drinking tea. Less of a program programming oriented live stream today. Wanted to, um, I have a podcasting company called Transistor, right there, and uh, wanted to do a live stream, a video on how to build a landing page for your podcast or a website for your podcast. I think a lot of folks focus on the wrong things, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, If you are in the chat... Just uh, say hello and uh, what podcast you're working on or why you're joining or where you're joining from. Let me just make sure that this tweeted out. Uh, my name's Justin Jackson. If we've never, never talked before, uh, let's see here. All right, so now so this is live. I just want to make sure that it's all working. If you're on Periscope, if you could just say hello. Um, you can also give me those hearts. Those are nice too, but uh, I can't see you until you say hello. Ah, here we go. Miss Molly, hello. Whoa, these these uh, things are way too big. Let's Let's make it a little bit smaller. Hello from Germany. Interested in building an e-commerce site? Well, I'm not going to focus that much on e-commerce today, but you might still learn something. Today, we're going to be building a landing page website for a podcast. Uh, Transistor is my podcasting hosting company that I do with John Buddha. And uh, yeah, I just want to show folks how to build a website simple website for your podcast. Okay, I'm just going to retweet this and I'm going to put also live. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Hold on. Don't want you to see my private messages, but desktop. Is this right? Nope. That's not it. Hold on here. Switch to secondary display. There we go. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to say I'm also live on YouTube, right? YouTube.com slash Justin Jackson. And also live on, I always use this little alien thing for Twitch on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash mega justin. Beauty. Cool. Uh, Yeah, so today I'm going to be using um, the tool, a tool called Card. It's by, um, I know his Twitter handle, but I don't know his, how do I, I think it's just AJ. Because he tweeted out, he's just added a bunch of stuff to his landing page creator. It's a tool I've used for a long time. Here we go. So AJ says, uh, new icons are available for the uh, four card, which is his free platform for building a simple, fully responsive one-page site for pretty much anything. So... The, the tool that I have, Transistor, um, I've got to put my video here. The tool I have does include landing pages, uh, actually fully full websites. So if you sign up for Transistor, you can get a page like this that, you know, we can play this right now. I'll turn this up a bit so you can hear it. Right? So there's... Um, this pl- and this player stays active no matter where you are but you- it also gives you a landing page for each episode that you release and you can share these and tweet these out but 
in some cases, you might not want a, a full website. And in some cases, you're building demand for a show. And you really want to focus on the, the important bits. And the important bits are not... Um, Oh, how did I get here? The important bits are not, you know, listen to my latest episode. The important bits are you want them to subscribe to your podcast and you want them to maybe sign up for your email list, right? So that's what I want to build today. Uh, and as inspiration, there's um, this one here. I actually really like this landing page here. Um, this is Uncle Weepy's Depression Dungeon. The contrast on this is a little bit, you know, not great. Now, he posts all of his former episodes, but I like, I like the idea that he has, you know, a way to subscribe, support on Patreon. He's got all, all of his links there, uh, and he has a phone number people can call. So we're going to build something like this, a simple, responsive landing page for a podcast. And maybe we'll do as an example, I'll just log into my Transistor account here. Uh, as an example, maybe we'll use Mega Maker, which is this podcast here that I do not nearly regularly enough. I think my last episode was October 1st, so 15 days ago. Uh, my regular show is Build Your Sass, but I still publish to the Mega Maker show whenever I can. Uh, by the way, if you folks are just joining now, say hello in the chat, whether you are on Twitter, Periscope, Twitch, or YouTube. Um, love to know where you're from, if you're working on a podcast. But let's get right into the tutorial. So this is my card account. Uh, I think I pay like 20 bucks a year or something for this. And it is the some of the best money I I use. One of the, I some of the best money I spend, sorry. Uh, and one way I, I've used it, this is just an aside, is when folks ask me to build a, a web page, and you know, if, if you're technical, you get those requests all the time. I say, why don't I start by just building you a one-page site on card? Now, this is my friend L. She has a, a barber shop, and I just built this one-page site for her. And so far, it's worked out great. It links to her Instagram and her Facebook, she which she wanted. She wanted to be able to say, here's her address, here's her phone number, and if people want to book an appointment, she has a, a separate booking site for that, and so she's linked to that. But if you are the kind of person that is always getting uh, harassed to build people websites, card, C-A-R-R-D.co is a great place to do it. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. I've just really enjoyed the tool. Okay, so I'm going to create a new site. And we need to choose a starting point. There's all of these great templates already built inside of card um, and you can choose there's like I said there's tons and tons of options I'm gonna I've never chosen this one so I'm gonna use this one here whoa just had a bunch of people join um, hello to Richard Gill so you're in Houston running a pop culture podcast for about a year it's called going to get stupid nice um, <laughs> Here's Adam Wathen. He's uh, in Australia right now. It's 6.19 a.m. for me, which means it's normally 3.19 a.m. for you, but then I remembered I'm in Australia, so now I don't <laughs> know what time or day it is. Good to see you, Adam. Hope you're having fun in Australia. Hello, Miguel. Good to see you. Hello, Lara Stream. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, today is less of a programming live stream and more of a, hey, what should you be, how should you be building a, a website for your podcast? So first of all, let's change this. 
And um, again, I think I said I was going to use Mega Maker as an example. So this, I actually do have a, a website for Mega Maker, but if I was going to start this again, this is what I would do. I wouldn't build a full website like this quite yet because I want to build anticipation. I want to build demand for the show I'm about to do. And basically, I want to do two things. I want email subscribers and I want subscribers on iTunes and Google Podcasts and everything else. So I'm just going to copy this content because I need some content, right? Um, and Card uses a, uh, a form of markdown and... Hello, uh, Agilisati. Agilisati? Agilisati. <laughs> good to see ya. I'm running out of room on here. Hey, Simon, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Wow, now people are really starting to come by. If you've ever done a live stream and you've said, hey, everyone in the comments, say hello, it usually takes, what are we in now? We're 11 minutes in and people are finally showing up. Just want to apologize again. I've got a cold. My nose is stuffed up. But uh, I really like going live. So wanted to do this anyway. Oh, also, uh, you'll notice marketing for developers on the lower right-hand side. Uh, it's the three-year anniversary of that book and course uh, that I... It's mine. I wrote it three years ago. And um, I'm doing a special $100 off promo right now just for the next... 18 hours or something. So if you want to get that, devmarketing.xyz slash Twitch. Uh, Simon, I use Ecamm Live, which is uh, for the Mac only, but allows me to stream to another service called Restream. That's this right here. And from Restream, I, I go out to Twitch, YouTube, and Periscope all live. So you'll see I've got a little streaming monitor here and uh, yeah, it's good. Hey, hey Chris, sorry. sorry. So you're getting in trouble from my, uh, from my, my bot here in, uh, here on the Twitch chat. <laughs> but uh, good to see you. Chris, this might actually relate to you. This is a stream that relates to podcasts. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Miguel. Yes, it's Marketing for Developers' birthday, third birthday. Um, it has helped put food on the table for my family over these past three years. So if, for all the people that have bought, uh, thank you. Yeah, you hate it already. Well, thank you, Chris. Chris is my editor for my podcast, so he's allowed to talk to me like that. All right, so let's get back here. Um, so we've already got it started off here, a podcast for indie entrepreneurs, software developers, app builders, product people, designers, and writers hosted by Justin Jackson. The idea is that we want to build anticipation for the show that we're about to put out, especially if we haven't launched it yet. If you only have a teaser, if you only have uh, you know, a few episodes published, you want to drive the action that is going to result in more subscribers. And so that's going to be email subscribers or that's going to be um, people subscribing on iTunes primarily. Now again, if you use Transistor, which is my app, you can, there's a built-in join your newsletter. We will, we will show all of your episodes. Um, people can play them right right here on the website. There's an about page. It's everything you need. But I realize that for some of you, you just need something simple. You just need to get something out there that's going to communicate, this show is coming or this show is here and I want you to subscribe. So let's, um, I'm going to grab this because I need a logo. So let's go back here. Let's add a logo to this. This is a little bit of a demo for card as well, right? So we're going to upload um, the Marketing for Developers logo. Not Marketing for Developers, Mega Maker logo. 
looks pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to drag this up all the way. It's the one thing is that card puts it at the bottom there, but okay. And got some space here that we want to remove. Where's that? Hold on. This container, it's got a bunch of vertical padding. Just want to remove that. So, uh, hello, Ortwin Van Vessem. Sorry, I don't know if that's the right uh, name. Uh, yeah, card is really, really awesome. Again, if you're, I, I can build websites. I, I use WordPress. I use all that stuff. But card, if you're just like, especially if you're trying to come up with a proof of concept or build a page really quickly, card, C-A-R-R-D dot co is great. Neither Chris nor I get paid by them to say anything. Um, yes, you're allowed to talk about design recommendations when the main stuff ends. I mean, uh, you can, yeah, you can, you can comment whenever, <laughs> just put it in chat and I will, uh, if it, as long as it's not dirty, I'll put it on screen. <laughs> you do get paid. Nice, Chris. Nice. By the way, Chris, have you figured out how... Me having to continuously zoom in on these comments, super annoying. If you figured out how to get our, around that, let me know. Okay. So, now we've got our description here. Uh, I'm going to delete this gallery because we don't really need that. And I'm going to change the copyright to Justin Jackson. All right, now we've got a nice um, basic template here for our podcast. Um, this, these icons is what I want to focus on first. Now, are we trying to get more Twitter followers? No, we're not. If we give people too many options, uh, they're like a landing page, especially you really want to have one objective. And so make sure you write down um, that one objective before you start building the page. So if your objective is to get more podcast subscribers, delete the Twitter thing, delete the Facebook thing, delete the Instagram thing, delete all that stuff. You don't need it. Um, and... What we're going to do to start, do I have to have email on here? No, I don't. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to um, go through all of these here. He's just added, AJ's just added a bunch of podcast related icons. And so now we have Apple Podcasts and we're going to link that to my Apple Podcasts link. Um, to get your podcast on uh, Apple Podcast and iTunes, you want to go to Podcast Connect. So this thing right here, this is, this is uh, if you just Google Podcast Connect, this is what you want. But this is the link I'm going to use. So I'm going to bring that over to card. Okay. And we're going to add a few more. So I might want um, Apple Podcasts. And sometimes I'll just focus on Apple Podcasts because frankly, it's the most important. But this particular show has a lot of people who live on, li live in, live in good, uh, who listen on Google Podcasts and Overcast. So I'm going to add that as well. So there's Google Podcasts. Let's go and find my Google Podcasts link. Here it is. And there's ways of generating all of these links. If you don't know how to do that, uh, go to help.transistor.fm. And we have submit your shows to all the popular directories. And this will um, show you how to submit your shows to all these directories. But 
right now I'm just linking to them, right? Okay, and uh, let's add overcast as well. So we want overcast. There we go. And where's my overcast link? There it is. All right. So I've got my icons here. I'm going to delete this email one because that one is not important to me. Wait, did that work? Can't see where I am now. So Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Overcast. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other... Uh... Oh, you know what? I'm a real fan of Breaker, so I'm going to add that anyway. And I also want to add my RSS feed. So Breaker is this brand new little indie podcast app. Uh, I like those folks. So I'm going to add Breaker as well. Let's find my Breaker URL. This is nice. It's just breaker.audio slash megamaker. Other podcast directories should take note. Being able to have um, an actual URL vanity url is great the other thing i like about breaker is people can comment on episodes so this one has three comments this one has four and so as a host i can interact with folks it's pretty cool all right so i'm gonna link to breaker and then let's also add rss so rss where's that i think that's just feed yep and i'm gonna go grab my RSS feed. Hey, by the way, a lot of folks, um, I've noticed this is a big customer, um, a big customer, uh, a place where our customers get stuck. And that is, uh, they'll click on the RSS feed and some browsers don't open up the feed. Uh, it'll try to open up a separate app or whatever. Uh, what you really want to do is you want to copy the, the link address. You want to copy the RSS feed address. Uh, you don't necessarily need to open it, right? It's just it's just a bunch of uh, feed stuff. So, <laughs> uh, Miguel really gets stressed out. <laughs> He's saying, can you close some tabs? <laughs> All right, I'll close some tabs for Miguel. He, he gets stressed out when I've got too many, too many things going on here. Uh, I need to keep that open. Close that. Close that. Uh, I guess I can close this example. Okay, so here's my feed address. Cool. So now we've got here's you know my logo. Here's what it, the podcast is and who it's for. Very important. And um, down here we have what we want them to do. Right. I'm actually going to make these icons bigger so I can go over to size and I can increase the size of these. And um, I want to tell people what I want them to do here, right? So I want them to subscribe. Let's add a little heading here. Let's add some text. And I can't remember if we do this here or... Might even be better to just do it right in this text here. So we'll say subscribe in your favorite podcast player. All right. Now, I might have to fiddle around with the, the spacing here, but you're starting to get the sense of what I'm uh, what I'm trying to do here. Hey, Duncan, good to see you, man. Again, just a reminder, today is not a, a programming. Uh, normally, I do a show here called Dumb Programming Questions. Today is not that. Today, I'm just showing you how I would build uh, a landing page for a podcast using card c-a-r-r-d dot co um yeah i gotta figure out if i can if i can 
get the spacing here. So this is that spacing there. That does, that's not what I want. Style. Can't tell if I've got still too much padding here. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna get some different text going here. See if we can, let's duplicate this. Size, weight. You can edit the CSS per el in the element, so I might, I might have to do that later, but this is at least a little bit, a little bit more defined here. Um, the the last thing I would add is a sign up for email, and uh, the reason is email is still the best way to get a hold of people. So let's say you're about to launch a new show, and um, you want you know you want people to get notified when the show gets released. Well, if you already have some episodes in iTunes, and I recommend you have at least one, a teaser episode. Um, but if you don't have any episodes yet, you want people to still have something they can sign up or subscribe to. And so I would add a form for that. And it could be as simple as this. Sign up, and you can actually connect um, card to uh, Mailchimp. You can choose what fields you want. You can choose what the button looks like. Uh, subscribe, and it, you can edit the appearance and stuff too. So I'm gonna duplicate this. Now you might want to do either or, right? You might want to say subscribe um, subscribe in your favorite podcast player or you might want to say uh, actually just subscribe via email. Join the waiting list. And let's left align this because everything else is left aligned. So, here's a little logo. Here's what the podcast is about and who it's for. Here's what I want people to do. I want them to subscribe in their favorite podcast player or if I don't have any episodes yet, I want them to join the waiting list. Now, again, you can have a fully functional podcast website, right? Here's the one for um, Build Your SaaS. Here's the one for Mega Maker. It has all my episodes. It has everything. This can be very helpful, especially for search results and everything like that. But if you're sharing a, a show, let's just let's just say, let me go to, uh, um, hey, how's it going, Heratalk? Heratalk, thanks for joining. Um, let's just say you are recommending a show to a friend. You say, hey, you got to listen to this show. It's called. Um, Show me your mic. That's Chris Enz's podcast. And they go, okay, great. Where can I check it out? If you could say, well, it's at showmeyourmic.com or in Chris's case, it's at goodstuff.fm. What do they want to see on that page? They want to know who's the show for and what it's about. They want to know, um, you know, how can I sign up? How can I get notified when there's a new episode? Where can I subscribe? But they probably want to hear a teaser of the episode, right? And so, um, I don't know if I have a teaser here, but one thing you can do in card and everything and uh, 
well, you can use any, any, if you can edit the HTML or you can insert code like in WordPress or whatever, you can use this. So inside of Transistor, but I'm sure lots of other podcast hosting applications have this, we have a share button and you can get our embeddable player, this player right here, and you can copy, you can embed that episode, right? So if I wanted to embed, you know, this one here, I just copy this, bring it in to here, and I'm going to click embed, and I'm going to add the code right here. Listen to the latest episode. Okay, and I'm going to bring this up here. And if I save this, let's just uh, Mega Maker. Great podcast. And uh, I need a name for this. Is Mega Maker taken? It's available. Okay, so if I publish this, and I view it, you'll see that it embeds the episode right here, right? This is what you want. You want a, a landing page that succinctly describes who's this podcast for, what's it about, maybe who's it by, and then let me, let me get a taste of the show. Let me hear an episode. And if you've published a teaser episode, so um, let me sh give you an example of a teaser So if you go into our episodes all the way to the beginning, we have a trailer. See, play episode, play trailer. A trailer is just a really, really short episode. And um, let me, um, how can I do this? Well, yeah, it's just really short. It's, it's like, this one's five minutes long. And if I play this for you, it just describes what the what the show's about. It's it's a just like a movie trailer. It's a way of saying, "Hey, this is what the show's about." These do really well inside of um, inside of uh, embedded episodes on landing pages. Here, let me just grab this, and I'll show you what that would look like. So let's go back into my code here. I'm going to embed a different episode. I'm just going to replace this episode ID. Save this. Publish changes. Okay, let's refresh. And so now, if someone came to this landing page and they're like, okay, you know, somebody recommended me this show to me. Let me listen to it. Instead of them having to listen to a 30-minute episode or a 60-minute episode, they just have to listen to a five-minute episode, right? And they can do that right here. Again, I could turn on the sound for you, right? And they can listen to um, the teaser instead of having to listen to the whole thing. Here's another cool idea. So let's say you've got an existing show. You've done hundreds of episodes, but you still don't want people to just get come to a page with hundreds of episodes. What you want them to do is to listen to the last episode you published and then decide if they want to subscribe or not. Um, and uh, yeah, so Chris is saying they use our code to automatically insert the latest episode at the top of our show page. That's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to go back into Transistor. And you'll see I've got the option here to embed the latest episode. So I could embed, you know, my favorite episode or a teaser, or I could say, no, just grab the latest episode and show that. And so we're going to go back into card here and we're going to edit this code, let's paste in this new embed code, save it, publish changes, and we're going to go over here, refresh, and now 
people can listen to the latest episode right here. And this will automatically update every single time I publish something new, right? So uh, again, I'm purposefully limiting what I show on this page. I do, in, it might be better actually, instead of showing all of these episodes to somebody and then having them go to the subscribe page and subscribing, it might be better to just limit it and say, no, I'm just going to quickly describe what the podcast is, quickly, quickly give them a listen to the latest episode, say, hey, if you want to subscribe, here are your options. You can click on any of these and you can subscribe right now, right? Or you can join the waiting list if the show hasn't launched yet. Um, in this case, just so the narrative here is a little bit better, I'm going to put uh, get notified by email. There's actually a trick for this. Um, where you can automatically email folks your latest episode. I talk about that. If you go to transistor.fm slash blog. Um, I'm glad you like the theme music. Who designed the transistor logo? It's a fellow named Dylan. I'll try to find uh, his info in a sec here. But... Um, where is it? How to automatically email your list when you publish a new episode. This is a tutorial that will show you how basically you get MailChimp to read your RSS feed and every time you publish a new episode, it automatically sends it out in a really well formatted email. So uh, that will look something like this. So just go to the Transistor site, go to the blog and, and find that if you're interested in that. All right, so get notified by email. Uh, the only other thing I might add here is um, who who is this? Like who's behind the show, right? So let me add a divider here so I can divide some of these sections up. There's one there, one there. And again, I've got to, I've got to um, mess with the padding and stuff here, but I would do that later. Yeah, this is the this is the URL for that tutorial. Um, now, uh, okay, so back to this question here: Who designed the logo? Dylan. What's Dylan? Let me see if I can find Dylan on Twitter quick. And I'm gonna cough here. I'm gonna turn off my mic. Sorry, I did say I'm sick. Uh, Dylan. This is the fellow right here. Dylan R. Wells. Great designer. He desi he actually created a whole style guide for us. Um, and I think he's got Transistor listed somewhere in this portfolio here. He's also on uh, Instagram as well. But Dylan R. Wells. That's the fellow you want. Okay, so one more section I would recommend that you add to your podcast landing page is just a little bit about you, the host. Who's behind this? Why should I listen to them? So um, I'm going to add this to the end. <clears throat> I've got to remember how I do this myself, actually, inside of, I think I add a container. Let's give this a go columns and let's do 25% and 75%. So now I've got this right here. Let's add another divider. We'll just duplicate this one. Okay. And let's add a header here as well. So we're going to duplicate that and move it down. So, oh, 
move it right there. About the host. Well, I'll align it to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my photo. Let's see. I, always, I keep one in Dropbox. I have uh, a folder called avatars. And I've got one here. Let me just make sure these, I don't want the, some, I don't want it too big. Oh, I think I have to add an image first. So click image. There we go. Let's add this one. Oops. Actually got to choose it from here. I can't drag and drop. There we go. So choose this one. Get the full, full thing. And Justin Jackson. I may link this to my about page. All right. And now I'm going to drag this into here. So now I've got a little logo there. And now I'm going to add some text. Let's actually just drag and drop this. And I would put in my bio. I have a kind of a little bio right here. And again, a spacing aside, this is looking pretty good. If we save this now, we have kind of all of the elements. Let's refresh. So to, to review, and uh, right now if you have questions or you want to, uh, I don't know, tell me about your podcast, I'll, I'll try to spotlight a few of your shows here in a bit. Or if you want me to do a teardown of your podcast's website, I'm happy to do that as well. Just comment in on YouTube or Twitch or Periscope, wherever you are. Um, but to review, what's the podcast called? Who's it for? What's it about? Why should people listen? Give them a little taste, right? You don't want to give them the full menu, maybe. You just want to give them a little taste. What's the show about? Give them a, something they can listen to right away. So in this case, I'm using the embedded player from uh, Transistor. If I turn it on, you can hear it. Uh, and people could listen to this while they browse the page. Pause that. Uh, where they should subscribe. Subscribe in your favorite podcast player. So if they click on this, they're going to get taken to iTunes and they can subscribe there. Uh, if they want to listen, you know, in Overcast or Breaker or wherever else, they can do that. Get notified by email. We talked about that. There's a great tutorial uh, that I mentioned now it's gone, but you can automatically email folks when you publish a new episode. And then, who are you? Why should people listen to you? What's your background? Where can they find out more information? And here, if you wanted you know, to have, like, for social proof, you wanted to add your Twitter handle or whatever. So let's do that, icons. If I wanted to add Twitter here, I could do that, right? Uh, where is it? Tumblr, Twitter. So I could add my my email and my Twitter handle in my bio section where it's not going to be as much of a, of a distraction. And I want to make this smaller. That doesn't make these smaller, does it? No, good. Okay, and then I might even move that into this container right here so that they're uh, all in one place, right? So those are the sections. Uh, that's what I'm recommending to folks these days. And th the great thing about this is now this becomes very shareable. It becomes the one place your fans and listeners can send people if they want to share your show, 
it has all of the elements um, you need to get somebody hooked. Ultimately, what you want is for them to subscribe in iTunes or in Google Podcasts or in Overcast. Everything else is a distraction. Web listens. People listening on the web. Let me show you my analytics here. Um, so my number one player that people listen to Mega Maker is in Overcast, then Apple Podcasts, but 11% of listens are in the web player. That's no good because that means people just listened once and now they're not subscribed. I want them to be subscribed. I want them to get all the future episodes, right? And so, uh, you know, in this case, for example, I, I did an interview with the lead singer of MXPX. A bunch of people might have listened to that in the browser, but not subscribed. What I want is for folks to you know, hear about the show, be able to find it online, and then be able to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to subscribe in my podcast player of choice. All right. Uh, before I go, is there any questions? Uh, do any of you have a show you want me to promote right now? Everyone, anyone want me to do a landing page teardown of... Uh, their podcast website. Let me show you Chris's because he mentioned it earlier. So you can find his, he's got a bunch of shows, goodstuff.fm. And um, the one I was talking about before was Show Me Your Mic. So actually, Good Stuff does a good job of this. Now they share all of their episodes, which is that's fine. Like I said, you can, you can do that. But the most important piece is this part right at the top. Listen to the latest episode. So they've got that transistor episode embed there. And where should you subscribe? Subscribe using RSS or listen on Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, or Overcast, right? Optimize for the, uh, the behavior that you want. And if I'm, if I heard about the show, now you guys have all heard about the show, um, the first thing you'll probably do when you get to this page is like, I want to hear it. So we click play on this and this was like now we can hear a little bit of Chris's show, right? Uh, so what site is easiest to make the layout? So I was using, um, I was using a site called Card. You just go to um, carrd.co and um, it's free to get started. But then if you want the pro plan, it's uh, like I said, like 19 bucks a, a year or something. $9 a year. It's a steal of a deal. So that's what I use to build... Uh, the example site here. But there's lots of landing page builders. This embedded embeddable player will work in anything. So, uh, for example, if I wanted to, um, let me just log into WordPress. I'll show you how this would work there. Okay, so I'm just logging into WordPress. And I'll show you what that embeddable player looks like there. So I have a, a front page for my WordPress site. Let's find my homepage. Here it is right here. So if I wanted people to hear the latest episode of the podcast on my website's homepage, I might put that here, right? So I'm going to go back into Transistor, I'm going to go to Episodes, Embed Latest Episode, copy this, edit the page, go into the text view of the WordPress editor, choose where I want the embed code, update, and 
Um, click view. And now my latest episode is embedded right here, right? So this embeddable player works in WordPress and any HTML, you know, page that you build yourself or in page builders like Card. Just going to remove that for now. Um, let's get back to it. We've got a bunch of questions here. Or not questions so much as comments. So, uh, yeah, Chris makes a comment here. It's really, it is really interesting how different shows will attract folks on different platforms. I'll show you the transistor stats for build your SAS. Much different. Um, yes, yeah, so if you look at this, there, our top player on Build Your SaaS, also Overcast, but Pocket Cast is number two. Apple Podcast is number three. The web player is number four. And I've seen all sorts of differences here. Um, some, you know, some uh, podcasts have completely different uh, stats on that. Got to cough again. Whew, sorry, I told you folks I was sick. Um, yeah, one of our shows has 90% subscribers on Overcast, and then another show has almost nobody on Overcast and all Apple Podcasts. Yeah, it's so different. Justin, does Transistor support combining your podcasts into one RSS feed if desired? Um, you can host multiple shows for one price. So if you look at my uh, account, these are all of the shows I have. Um, Product People and Mega Maker are the only ones I'm really doing anymore. Build and Launch is an archive show, but I still want people to be able to listen to it. Jolt is, this is actually the audio book. Uh, it's a private feed just for people who've bought the book. And uh, this is just an example, but we allow you to host and create multiple shows without paying for each additional show. Um, if you want to combine all of your shows into a single RSS feed, there's other ways of doing that. I honestly, I think uh, Huff Duffer, Huff Duffet, sorry. Huff Duffet is the best way to create kind of custom podcast RSS feeds. So if you haven't seen this tool yet, check it out. HuffDuffer.com. Cool. Well, I am uh, starting to get a really scratchy throat. And so I need to uh, end the, the feed. Thanks to everyone who showed up. Hopefully this was helpful for you. I lasted about 54 minutes. Not too bad. Uh, and uh, yeah, go check out card, C-A-R-R-D.co. Go check out transistor.fm if you want to create a show or if you want to import a show. So if you go to add new show in Transistor, you can import an existing show. I could try to import uh, This American Life, right? It'll, it'll scan iTunes and you can just import your show right from iTunes. So thank you. I'm hoping to feel better. I'll see you guys uh, next time I stream. Please give this a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitch, YouTube, Periscope. Talk to you later.